the day of my release, right? I'm eating coffee, drinking it, I'm vibing. Like, you feel me? I'm thinking I'm, I gotta wait till like after breakfast at three or like the next morning they gonna release me. But they released me like 12 on the head. The SARS came and popped my door. I'm like, damn, what's going on? When I first came home from jail, like, soon I walked out, I already get back to my phone. Cause I wanna know like, how I wanna vibe first. Like, who gonna be my friends? You could keep up in there, you could keep up, but it's like, there's some stuff that you be missing. Once I came home, I went to Walmart. You know I, I got to get my little toiletries. I was on house arrest, so it's like, I wasn't allowed to like go places like Walmart and stuff before. I'm in Walmart, like bitch, I'm at the arcade right now. I don't remember where the chips be at. I'm looking for Dove by the wash. I'm like, damn, cause it's like, even though my house arrest ain't have no income on it, I could really like slide and do stuff, but it's like, Places like Walmart, people would be like, oh, that's cool, that take a picture, now I'm in trouble. So you niggas out of step. And after that, I went straight to the studio. I recorded. I love you too. What's the first thing you recorded? Man, I recorded so much songs, I'd be lying if I told you. That book. Real nigga fives. New stuff, things I wrote while I was in there, things that I remember, stuff like that. Just every beat that played, I had something for it. It's crunch time and stuff like that. Even though my album was ready, my first six hours I've been home. How many hours did you up straight before you actually lay down? The whole 24 hours. It was like, I wanted to, cause it kind of felt like I was like, like I was dreaming. But you know, I done been in so much time, so it be feeling like that. But at the same time, it was just like this time, I'm like, man, like I'm, like I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on another vibe, you know what I'm talking about? Run his back. <laughs> ah, I'm spinning that real shit, that vibe. That shit hard right there. I was hoping that you ride me the way I rode you. Cause I ain't never stayed up 24 hours when I came home. But this time I just wanted to I see like, damn like. I don't know, I felt like I was sleepwalking. And I know if I'm feeling like this, it gotta be mutual. But I ain't business telling them the shit we service through. I got my sniper game producers on there, so they so they making their money and they getting their recognition. And, and, and it's like, in the beats be, uh, they be fire. So it'd be like, I don't gotta look nowhere else for no beats when like, my, my sniper game producers make fire beats. I'm gonna keep on living. I wonder sometimes if you wish it, shit could have been different. Right now I'm shifting, it's too late, I'm doing my thing right now. I ain't looking down on you, just chill, I'm on the plane right now. I know you miss me, but don't worry, I never forget you. Even though you switch, don't mean it hurt me. I can't hold that against you. Taking everything in me and it's burning for me to forgive you. You steal my world, you steal my dirty, but I ain't fucking with you. Create my future, had to revisit my past, revisit my pain. But I will never let you back in, we can't rekindle that flame. When he got stepped on, then you blame me, cause you knew I did it. Couldn't call on you when it was rainy, and that killed my spirit. She, she said you tried to shame me, tried to kill my image. You Yo, you know me since a baby, and you know I'm with it. You know I'm serious, stepping on niggas like I ain't even got no feelings. I'm in my cell right now, I wish this shit could've been different. I ain't dropping no names, I'm over the... Okay then! Oh. Oh. Could've been different, that's that. That's what everybody want. All my songs be how I'm feeling. But it be some of them, I just go in like, fuck nigga, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. Like, you feel me? Everybody gonna love it. But like, Florida, and like, Broward County, Florida, they gonna be like, man, this for us, man, this, man. Ooh, like, you feel me? Yeah. Dude, they gonna catch a yak attack, bitch. Okay, then. Hello. I'm the lady in the house. <laughs> I came home, I was. I was with my with my mom and them for like three four days. 
Wash my hair and shit. That's mm -hmm. Wash my hair. Mm -hmm. You know me. I'm a. I'm a keep it blood raw. I ain't gonna sugarcoat. Now nah, I ain't gonna Jay fake it. When I saw my son, I was real happy, right? Of course, that's my son. That's unconditional. How you so smart? Mm -hmm. Huh? So you want your son to follow your footsteps in what way? However, I am. I kind of do want him to follow my footsteps. I really kind of feel like I don't want my son to be no good boy, like no nerd. Why you say that daddy, my daddy here? What is that? Hello? I just don't want him to be square. Hello? 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 Like, not, not the pull-out ones. Front and back, too. So the back of my mind. Dang. Right now they good in the back. Cause y'all don't see the back. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna step. This is how you step. <laughs> so I had snatched my gold teeth shot. Like, you know, they, like they pop them out. No, I don't want no Nova game. Cause I feel like if I'm gonna do it, I should like take whatever come with it. So. Right. Yeah, pressure ain't pain. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the bottom right there. Fuck it, what it is. When I read it from Pretty White, you Pretty White. Don't know what can. I can taste some more pain. Fuck it. I got everything I want. When I was in jail, I was like, nah, I don't like these diamonds. When I come home, I'm gonna get some new ones. So I had everything set up. Take a little more pain real quick. So he popped them diamonds out and put these ones in. Jackboy, free cool, free the DJ. <laughs> no, no, can't grab that. Let me tie your shoe. Let me tie your shoe. If I was shoot my video, if I'm lying and flying and stuff, then I hopped on the PJ to Calabasas. So now I stay by Kylie Jenner. I, I stay by Kylie Jenner and, them, and all of them people. So it, it feel good, like it's a different atmosphere and stuff like that. It ain't, it's a different atmosphere out here. Pull the rap shit, I would check a car. I couldn't get all my time cause I was doing fraud. Me and my nigga Lil Marcus tearing up the wide. It hurt me to my heart, I heard it get 25. I'm from the know y'all, I know it's ain't that line. Just like I told you, if I'm lying, then I'm flying. I just flew my homeboys out here and stuff like that. So we went bowling and go-karting. But other than that, like when I'm by myself, I just I probably think all day. And be on my iPad. Like if you ain't got no iPhone, we can't contact. So it's like you can't you can't hit this line up like that. But this my main. This is what I be on. I just got so attached to it. It's like a part of me. Sometimes I be in the room and don't even come out. Just be just be just be in the room. You can't you can't start no greatness. I be feeling like, nah, this ain't gonna be like my life. This ain't gonna be like, what? Well, nah, hell no. Nah. Those are clothes I bought. I had went to jail and stuff. And I, I just want, I just wanted to burn it. I, I hit the beach and washed off all that, you know. And just, I just got right. I still got my cross like. That I was wearing, like when I was in there, you feel me? Most people, they wouldn't do that. They'll leave that in there, like they'll leave it in there, or don't bring their Bible home. Like they'll just forget about all of that. You know what I'm talking about? I just bring stuff with me. I just got all my books, my dictionaries, and all of that stuff. You feel me? Minister Malcolm, the thing that I thought might be good for starting it off is to talk about one of the most pervasive beliefs in the general society about the nation of Islam.
So at first my album was about to be called Died, like Died to Live. I ain't wanna actually die. Like, like, not like literally. So I, I switched it from dying to live. Like, I was thinking, I was like, you know, I know we live to die, but it's like a lot of people out here like dying to live. A lot of people searching for something, but they don't know what, it's, what it is they're searching for. Sometimes, we, like, we kill ourselves, like, we do it to ourselves. I know a lot of kids who will run in somebody's house. They don't even know if, like, somebody in there and stuff get their head blown off. You feel me? Because they want to live, like, they want to live, they want to flex, they want money, they want to, like, so, so they'll, they'll, they'll risk their life. A lot of people will kill somebody for, like, $5,000. <clears> but the consequences and the repercussions of that a life sentence. You feel me? We got a sentence date, so we dying while we, while we living. Have never at any time been guilty of initiative. For this album, I'm most, I'm most excited about a song I made for X. It's off of Malcolm X sample. Like Malcolm X, he was talking on it. So I called it Malcolm XXX. I only said like three, four lines about X in the song. It ain't all about X. I ain't acting like I'm real sad about it because we wasn't close friends like that. But it's like... I was like, what? Cause at first I heard somebody say I wasn't on my radio. You feel me? But then I heard somebody say, oh, they just said it on the radio. He just died. So I was like, okay. So I got on the radio to a station. It says, Sister Tassion. I don't want nobody to misinterpret this though. That's the only thing I was like, damn, my boy asked. Like certain messages he was sending out there. My mama told me she was crying like about it i know how she feeling because she a mama and i make music and i'm well known and i'm from around here so i let them meet each other and stuff i don't know her, but i just felt like that's the least i could do take her out to eat he from my section a little piece like he from he from around there so i was like you know why not fly high you feel me I ain't gonna lie, listen, I swear for God, I never been, I never been nervous about no shows. Like, even my first show, I went out there because I always feel like if I could do all this stuff in the streets, I could get on stage in front of these people, right? But it's like, I wasn't working out this time, so it was like, even when I walk up the street, I'd be huffing and puffing. So I was like, nah, I don't need no bad videos of me. Falling on stage, passing out, ain't that's not happening in my career. So I was like, man, I gotta get a rehearsal. He, I don't know where he wanna be, but when he on stage, he want the microphone. Yeah, he, he like he want the microphone and stuff like that. So he be singing his little songs on stage. They be liking it and stuff. I'm about to start telling them, man, y'all got to pay for me to bring my son. No, for real, it's like, pay me an extra woo -woo -woo for my son to come. Because y'all know he's going to perform and the crowd love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little pump on the album, gnarly. I like I like the treatment. It's like, and when they watch the video, I want them to see like I want them to understand like the direction of it. I don't want you to just watch the video and stuff like yeah. Okay, this is what they doing like okay, Kodak supposed to be this and little pump like this and um okay this going on. It's like people see me doing songs with these people. They like, man, nah, Kodak, don't do these features. Like, why you doing features that ain't you? Like, damn, Kodak, like. But at the same time, though, 
it, it go back to that other side like i gotta be a legend i gotta like stop thinking so ignorant and, and stuff like that these other artists they they stream too we we the music business let's okay let's let's do some music let's all get this get this money together i know you wanted somebody on that record before Ed Sharon, Ed Sharon, <laughs> listen, cause I'm feeling like, okay, this is like a pop like song. So it's like, that was, that was last year when I made the song and I was just coming home, but I was listening to Ed Sharon a lot in there. So I'm listening to his music. I'm like, ah, uh, you feel me? I'm like, I gotta do a song with that boy when I come home. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, cause that way we can get the car in the back. So yeah, you right, you right. You just start in the middle. You just and walk walk. right there. Hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. And cut. Where I'm from, we ain't pulling your coat. Just fuck you. Like we ain't nobody ain't saying, oh, oh yeah, bro, you got this shit. Oh yeah, oh ain't nobody coming in under like like your post talking about yeah, boy, you went hard on this. But it's like I kind of like be seeing artists. They be doing it. I be like, damn, like that. That's 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 a little cool though. Cause one front ain't like niggas ain't going for that. Niggas ain't ain't pulling your coat. So who else is on there? So you got Lil Pump. You went in with Meek Mill also. Yeah. How'd that happen? How was that? I ain't gonna lie though. Me, he cool people, but he rocked with me tough. So I I, I rocked with him back. That tit tattoo record. Then I put I put the hook on that. It's a nice little hook. Then it sound like a verse, but. He, he just told him the other day, like, yeah, I want to I wanna holler at you. So I go on the phone, he like, man, it's like $50 million out here for you. You already solidified. You know what I'm talking about? All you got to do is just, just be out here and get it. You feel me? <laughs> and niggas don't want to see you with 50 mil. I don't even care how much potential you got. Man, that nigga ain't finna make 50. You know, I, 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 I tapped into the hood, even though I told myself I ain't going to the hood, like, because I'm off papers. But I still came through, like, man, stop playing. I'm from around here. You know what I'm talking about? So I came just to, just to tap in and stuff. But I had somebody tell me, oh, damn, it was, a, it was an old head. Damn, I thought you were never coming back. That kind of hurted me, though. Because it's like, why would you think that of me? Like, you should sure already know me. Like, you know I ain't going for that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to come back through the hood. It's like, this is, this is, like, this shit made me kind of. So... The only thing that'll make me nervous is, I, I, well, I'm scared that I'll get too comfortable like that. Because it'll be like, damn, the alleyway, like, the corner, the, all that. So, so that's why I just like to be in my shell sometimes. You know, sometimes we be thugging and living so hard and wonder why, like, the world won't soften up, like, around us. I was dropping this album and I know, like, okay. I got some things I need to shake up and change and stuff like that. But I felt like even writing this album, I'm, I'm going to have to tap into my old world. But at the same time, I'm like, no. I got I to gotta kill Dyson so I could become Bill Capri. So when I change my name and stuff like that. And I want to I wanna crystallize another side of me, too. If I fall back, soften up and just, you know, shake a few things up. That's the only way I'm going to be, like, uh... A, a legend. Dying to live. I put my heart on my lips. I gave it all I could give. I made it hot at the crib. I kept it fire at the crib. Where you gonna go when you do? How I'ma know for real? I pour a four in the fill. You already know what it is. I keep a pole in the wheel. Cut a lot of these niggas out here in me. It ain't no horn and clear. None of my dog I fuck what Tennessee. Fuck all that plan, now I'm grown, I put my heart in it.